Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to episode four of our blind playthrough of uh, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we got the big key here. Uh, we're in the upper right-hand corner of the map, uh, chasing down a pendant uh, after the elder told us that we will need them, I think. Um, yeah, and, and that's we just unlocked this uh, this room right here, and we I don't think we've stepped in yet. So um, here we go. Hey, I just wanted to say, uh, now as I'm recording this episode, oh, okay, hello. The uh, first episodes have gone live. So, oh my god, that was clutch. Did I just clear three of them? I think I did. And so now I've gotten to see uh, y'all's uh, responses to the first episode, and it was so cool. It's so humbling for me to get to see y'all be excited for me playing games. Hey! For me playing a game, um, it's uh, it's just like a dream come true for me. So thank you for the uh, warm reception and thanks for the the love. And in case you have not already, um, I read the comments on the first episode. Oh lord, interesting. Uh, where people were saying, telling the story of when or how they first played or saw this game. If you haven't, uh. Oh, this is so sketchy! And you would like to? Uh, feel free to leave a comment on this video uh, telling me how. I. It's really cool to see, uh, especially from some people who are, you know, around and playing video games 31 years ago or 33 years ago or whatever it is. Um, to see people talking about hearing, uh, play, uh, playing the game like with a parent for the first time. Um, that's all really cool. So I guess we gotta kill these suckers, huh? Okay. Well, the problem is I don't like them. No. Oh. No. Okay, we need to poke them with the sharp. The problem with poking them with the sharp end is that I think it actually gets rid of my uh, my spin attack when they do. Can you can you be killed? Okay, you can be. Oh, perfect. You can be killed. Incredible. Major league gamer right there. Big gaming moments. Okay. You guys are actually maybe my least favorite of the enemies because you're just, you're just a DVD. Oh God, you're just, you're just a DVD loading screen turned into an enemy. Okay, this could be bad. One of you is gonna have a key maybe? No, there's buttons here, okay. I'm trying to hit the buttons. I don't know if these buttons have to be hit. Okay. Two of them were fake buttons. One was a real button. I'm not sure. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I think I... I think I'm safe on this exact square. As long as we stay here forever, we're fine. <clears throat> okay, so I think that these are like fake pr uh, pressure platforms, pla uh, uh, pressure plates. Is there a pattern here? It doesn't really look like it. It just looks kind of random, which mean means my response is gonna have to be random. It's not the upper, oh, Jesus. It's not the upper right. It's not the bottom left, bottom right, sorry. <clears throat> um, again, if I stay in the middle, I can only be hit by ups and downs. So maybe that's the play. Maybe the play is stay on a horizontal. No, that wasn't good. <gasps> yeah! I almost, I, I, I tried to yell, get me out of here. No! <laughs> No! <laughs> Dang it. All right, well, here goes nothing. Back to the, this is the start of the dungeon, right? That's all right, we're better than we used to be. We're, we're better, we're faster, we're stronger. We can do this. OK, 
Okay. All right, we're chilling. Oh, we're so good. The problem is I don't exactly remember where I need to go, so I should probably look at the map. Okay. We need to go up one room and then through the door. So it's really not bad. Actually, it's in this room. We just need to get low. Okay, I got a heart, so I'm full health now. That's good. Very good. How do I get down, though? Um, <laughs> this is one of those moments where it's like, I should know because it was just yesterday for you when watching the, uh, the video that came out, but it was a couple days ago for me, and I... Okay, that's we already have that. Okay, um, and I don't remember. Okay, this puts us up here. The problem is we have this map, but it doesn't include the like overlay of these rooms and how they. Dang it! There goes my heart, my full health. I was full health for, for such a short amount of time. There's a button here, but I don't remember. It just opens that, okay. I need to get down a level and then go in the upper left of this room. So how do I do that? Probably from coming through that door to the bottom. To get to the door to the bottom, what do I do? Can this do anything? You can't go under here. I wonder if there's secrets over here. Doesn't really look like it. Okay. All right. I like these skelly guys. The skelly guys might be my favorite, actually. Um, let's try the other side again. Skelly guys and they're and they're jumping. They just remind me of like sands from Undertale. I keep taking damage to them though. Um from here. That's right. I think we came up from below. One of the uh like in that last room. Okay, I whiffed. For this one I think we had to kill everybody. Okay, we'll do some spinning. Spinning is the best. Spinning is the greatest. Ouch. Okay. Full health. Uh, up, around, and under. <clears throat> Man, I can't believe they set me back so far. This is the room we cannot go through this way so um dang i'm gonna really have to test my memory here the fact that they uh <laughs> there we are um that they sent me back to the beginning of the dungeon is a. Uh... <clears throat> it makes sense but it means high consequences for death yeah, i need to i need to face the correct way that's just i need to face i need to do more one thing I need to get better at ah, is facing the correct way in this game because your lantern, your sword, they're all a big help if you are facing the right direction. You can spin to win from any direction, but Jesus Christ. Can I kill these guys with the, the thing? I haven't even tried it. I don't really need to try it because I have the <clears throat> full health and a solution. Okay. Okay, face the right way. Oh, yeah. That was not the face of the right way. Okay, they, they, they slow down after... Oh, no. They slow down after a while. I'm full health. Run! <laughs> Panic! Run! 
Okay, this room. I wonder if it's the same button as last time. I think it was upper left, right? So, if it is, it's not. For some reason, it's not. Oh my lord, you've never seen a person. It is! I just didn't step on it right. You've never seen a person panic press so many buttons. Okay, hit them both, hit them both, hit them both. Okay, face the right way. Face the right way. Grab the, the magic potion. Okay. Kill you. Grab the money. Can I hit you with this? Nope. Nah! Okay. Three health and a dream. Can you just not be hit? What's the deal here? Uh oh. Try this. How many of those do I have? Uh, I have eight. So here's my thought. What if I get him to walk towards me? Are there any other cracks in this room? I don't think so. I only have two health. What if I, like, put it here? <sighs> that was kind of the right timing, but I don't know that I can do that. I don't know that... I feel like I tried to hit him with my sword and it did no damage. See? It did no damage! Oh, what is this thing right here for? I have no health. I think I might need to try and walk backwards to try and get more health, but the next, the room before this one is, is so bad. Okay. Can I light you on fire with my... lantern? Can I shoot you with my bow and arrow? Are those doing damage, or are they just sticking inside of you? Oh! One health and a dream. Oh, God. Okay, we're just going to really quickly think about what we just saw. <laughs> there were the, like, Tangela grasses uh, in the middle of the room. There were pots on the side, which are my choice of health, and then I think there were three or two knights up top. Can I charge my sword going in? I think I can, right? We decided that. Health. Health. Okay. 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 It's two of the... It's actually two of the, uh, the strong guys. Okay, we have two health and a dream right now. Dang it, I really wanted that. Thought more uh, about how to do it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to to be super min maxi here. Use my boomerang to kill you guys. Uh, maybe. If I can make the boomerang shots land. Maybe the boomerang doesn't do what I think it does. This is a great, this, that question is a great chance for me to remind you about the very specific way we're playing this game and the thing I'm asking from YouTube comments uh, for, the, in, for the entirety of the playthrough. Um, <clears throat> we play games a little bit differently on this channel. This is called a blind playthrough. What that means is I would please, please, please ask you to not drop any info about how to play the game, any backseating obviously any spoilers about what's to come or even any tips or it or tricks or um anything like that it, it completely changes the play the way i play the game if i play based on my understanding of youtube comments and not based on my understanding of this incredible piece of art so if you're like yeah ryan the 
boomerang does a stun condition or something. The bow does piercing damage, which is important for... And you know that, but I don't. It's actually better for me to play with my flawed understanding. I promise you. Uh, it'll make for more entertaining playthrough, uh, maybe a little bit more frustrating, but also uh, a lot more fun for me. And... Uh, just run. Okay. And... um. I would just please, please, please ask you to keep that in mind for the rest of the playthrough. We have some people in the comments. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. <coughs> Keeping an eye on things, but um, please help us out. Um, okay. I have a theory, which is that if I walk through and I stand on the stairs, they can't hit me here. They can't hit me here. But I also can't fire my bow. <gasps> I'm gonna have to take damage here because I, I can't get through. Oh no. I'm gonna wait until their their eyes are closed and then try and run through. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, got one, got one, got one. Okay, you're fine. I, open eye, open eye. Hit two, done, let's go. Woo! Now here's the question, don't these look like doorways too? Oh, that was so... That was so rough. Oh, I thought I had a big brain play where I could stand in the doorway and they couldn't touch me. I did not have a big brain play. <clears throat> because I could not touch them either. Excuse me? We're just firing arrows like crazy. They give us arrows in this dungeon, we're using them. Don't do that. Okay. We had to kill one of them there. So that we have space. Okay. So the, they are definitely going to do this in a pattern. I have half a health. Do we need to focus fire one? I have, that was my last arrow. Shoot. Okay. All right. We can do this. Please give me health if I, if I win. Okay. No. Ah! I think my heart stopped during that fight when they when they transitioned to the stomping. No. <coughs> oh. I think my heart stopped when they started the stomping. I was so panicked. I was like, I cannot be hit here. I can't be hit. Oh, I think we put up a decent fight, but we used literally all of our arrows. <laughs> oh no. All right, well, no, listen, no hero has ever been born from the easy and straight path. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to turn this struggle, to alchemize it and turn it into uh, a success for us or a story about how we can overcome uh, Really, truly, that is a heartbreaking loss because now I have zero arrows and arrows was how I won that fight. How I won five-sixths <laughs> five of that fight. Uh, so now we're, we're truly, we, we didn't like get knocked back down to where we started. We are below where, oh, oh Jesus Christ. We're below where we started. Um, damn, we're going to have to grab as many... Uh, Grab as many different uh, materials and stuff as we can. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just uh, refreshing my memory of where everything is. Uh, I was trying to see if there were any extra um, jars around. I think we want this side, but the other side might have a heart. It's all right. We'll just go this way. Dang. Heartbreaking. Here's the thing. I uh, I should also say real quick. Um, 
you might be sitting there thinking, Ryan, you're playing this on Nintendo Switch Online. I know for a fact you have a the spend point. You have your own built-in save system that is not in the original game. Why don't you just use that, take a save right outside of the boss fight, go from there. Uh, we could, and I reserve the right to maybe do that in the future, but for now, I'm playing this game the way, the way it was intended. And by that, I mean with the save system that happened at the time. And by that, I mean I'm buying a CRT TV so that I can play. Why am I taking damage? Why? We're playing it the way it was intended. I'm going to use a CRT TV. No, I'm kidding. Um, we're going to use the system that's in the game for now. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll change that in the future, but for now. That includes the struggle. That includes the... It's, it's one of those things where it's like, in my opinion, and... and uh, you're entitled to your own, and, and if you have a different opinion, I welcome that. I think that's that's incredible. Um, I think it's possible that having the chance, sorry, being forced to redo sections might actually be, a, because I died, might actually be a really good thing in the long run. Because it might mean that I get to explore stuff a second time that I didn't explore thoroughly the first, et cetera, et cetera. I might discover some secrets. I'm not sure. For instance, right here, I don't think that these are doorways, actually. Because if they were, there'd be two doorways in this one, two doorways in the one after that. So anyways, let's get back to this boss fight. Okay, four hits. No, hit the, pick up the thing. Shoot! Okay, we're full health. We're fine. Um, I think we want... We have to go this one, right? No, this one leads to the money. We have to kill one of the guys who has the key, which takes us to the left. Or maybe just kill the only guy. Ow, son of a gun. It's really hard to see. I don't know if you know that. Please kill. Please, please die. Please die. Please die. Okay. You, it's already unlocked. <laughs> Okay, if it's already unlocked, we should maybe actually go back for more health. Because I don't know what's in the room after this one. And I think there's a chance that the uh, stuff in here will respawn health. I don't know that it'll respawn... Nope, it does not. Dang. Okay. What about over here? Um, I don't know that it'll respawn arrows, because that would be a way to cheese it. But anything down here have more... We need a little bit of health before we continue. Never mind. I hate it here. I... I, I... I'm dead. Never mind. I hate it here. All right. <clears throat> Speed running shoes on. This is going to be the first episode of entirely, uh, entirely failure. <laughs> That's okay. It's good to fail. Is it, was it my plan for the day when I walked in? No. Okay. Well, you little shit. Now you made me mad. Now you've made me mad. But it's all right to fail. Failure, uh, one, sometimes. More funny. <laughs> Two. A great lesson, teacher. I'm gonna die here. No, okay, we made it. Oh, Lord. I did see that someone started a death counter on the, uh, on the episodes already, so, uh, this one's for you, whoever that was. I, uh, I didn't actually catch the name first uh, already, but let's go to the right, get a, get a heart, and then we'll go back. Get some health, I should say. We could even try carrying the pot in if we think that would be helpful. If we want to, like, really, like, min-max here, maybe I carry the pot. You cannot. Okay. Interesting. We learned something. Can't carry the pot inside of the, uh, son of a gun. If I kill you, do you drop hearts? Half the time you do. A bomb! That's even better. There's some health. 
So maybe the speed run strategy is actually to go rather slow. You know? Maybe slow is fast, in a way. Because if you go slow, all of a sudden you get exactly the resources you need. The, uh... Throwing, throwing the pots at these skeletons seems to be the way to do things. There we go. Done. All right. Let's do it. Full health. We have 20 arrows again, so really... But see, now I'm going back and forth on it. I do kind of feel like that might be a door. I don't remember if we've tried this. That was not exactly lined up. Dang it. Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> We're going to pull this off. Tons of arrows in here. I think, actually, because we died... Oh, this was all a part of my strategy the entire time. Because we died last time, we had 20 arrows. And we keep those over into the next one. Oh, it's perfection. Let's go ahead and do this. It's already open. We really don't need anything. Let's just go through. Already open. Um, in here, it's not open. Because it opens when you... Hit this button. Go. We're getting there. Okay, you guys have the... Oh, no. You guys have the problem of, like, going to sleep. So... That's a problem for you guys, but it's great. Shoot, why did I do that? It's great for me. <clears throat> no! Okay, simple mistakes. Gonna cost me this run again. Um, it's closing in. Perfect. Do I want these? Arrows. Do I want this one? Do we assume it's a heart? It is a heart, but I I risked everything for it. And now I close the door again. It's fine. You guys are really not that bad. If you know Oh Lord. <laughs> oh no. I hang my head in shame. No, it really is that bad. It really is that bad. I said those guys aren't that bad. It's okay, we're just stockpiling. We're stockpiling uh, uh, arrows. That last fight is gonna be a breeze by the time we get to it. Next episode. <laughs> gonna be an absolute breeze. Okay, big ball should be uh, before too long. After the big ball, I'm just going to talk myself through it here. After the big ball, we can go wherever we want. All right. Out of two health. We have plenty of chances to get hearts before then. Remember how I said uh, I get really upset at Super Mario World? It turns out I don't get actually really upset at Super Mario World specifically. I get upset at how I play Super Mario World, which is badly, and then I <laughs> start to rage. And I'm starting to feel that way. I'm mad at myself. Why did I run into that guy? Somebody dropped something good. Fine. We have plenty of chances for hearts. We know where this guy goes, which is up there. Grab, grab the pot, please. Hit you. Okay. Hit you with a little spin attack. Perfect. Do we have any hearts here? No. There we go. Heart in the upper left. Man, I'm sure some people who have played this game a ton know exactly where everything is. Like, 
they know exactly, uh, it's like it's the upper left one that has a 50% chance or, I don't know, 100% chance of dropping a heart. This one always contains... You need exactly three arrows to beat this room, and the way you get them is by opening the first pot. Okay, we're full health. We have... Interesting. Here's the other thing. This is why I'm, what I mean. Failure is such a good learning opportunity. We have 30... Uh, we have 30 arrows. I think 30 is the max arrows I can currently hold because we uh, we should have had more than that uh, because we had 30 earlier. And um, and yeah, that's the whole story. <laughs> so it, apparently it maxes out at 30. Okay, this room. Now here's the thing. Now that I know what I'm doing with the bot, what, what to expect with the boss, I think we just do this. Just kill them easily. Kill them a little bit. Uh, okay. Not a perfect use of all of my arrows, but it was fine. Okay, this room is upper left, and I should, probably should have gone right from the start. Right here is technically, I also cannot be hit right here. So we're going to wait until right after some vertical ones have gone. Okay. We're learning. We're learning. One pot each for each of you guys. We don't even need the hearts. Um, however, I will leave that there. Okay, two hearts that are two attacks there. Done. Do a spin attack here. Oh, perfect. Oh, it whiffed. It whiffed. No, okay. Um, get more arrows. There's more arrows in this room, so that's actually fantastic news. Okay, you dropped arrows. Okay, we're learning. We're getting. Listen, I may not be the best gamer, <clears throat> but given enough time, hey, you can't be hit right now. That sucks. Can I hit you now? Go 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 go! Oh crap! Given enough reps, I can do anything. Okay, this is the vertical one. Okay. We have two and a half hearts. I think they hit for a heart each. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this is the one where you stomp, then we hit. Probably. No! I'm gonna die. The focus. Okay, the focus. Okay, we gotta hit you, like, basically when you're on the way down. Oh my god. Ah! The screen shaking is making me panic. I'm timing it so badly. I'm trying to keep distance. No oh god. There it is. When no, when you're on the way down. Did that hit me? No! Oh. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's such a sad feeling when I get to the end of an episode or close and I go, oh, I know what this episode is going to be titled. This episode is going to be titled The One With All of the Deaths. Yep. Everyone else is going to know from the very start because of the title. But for me, it took me 34 minutes to have my heart broken. Oh, we're we're better, but that stomping attack is so scary, and the timing of it is just like a little counterintuitive in my brain. I, I should have gotten it after like 10, and instead it took me like 30 to still not quite get it. I think I have to swing when he's on the way down, because otherwise my swing takes so much takes enough time to get started that I need to grab more arrows. By the way, 
that I um that I end up missing him and he ends up uh, going above to stomp me while I'm still trying to hit him. So that's alright. We persevere. It's like I said. Truly, I uh, you know. Got to be a little bit okay with failure here. Game is hard. That's all I'll say. It's, uh, maybe it's not the game. Maybe the dungeon is hard. The dungeon seems very hard. It's a lot of fun, though. That, that boss fight is very easy to panic spam like I've been doing. Here's my question for you. If you watch the Breath of the Wild series, are you seeing any uh, anything in common between the two? Me panic pressing buttons, for instance? as things don't go my way during a boss fight. Ah! <laughs> it's absolutely... Ah! Oh no, you little turd, get out of here. Okay, we have 19 uh, uh, things and 19 arrows. We should have more relatively soon. Just trying to farm this money real quick. I don't even need it. I really didn't need to take that health damage, but that's all right. All right. There should be more arrows in one of these. Right there. Two and a half hearts. More arrows, we're max arrows. We'll take the heart and we'll run. Cool, three and a half and 30, that's perfect. We go over to halfway. Okay, perfect. Why did I, why did I run right into the path of that? <laughs> ah! Okay, you get mad. And I'll hit you with two arrows. One, two, done. You drop arrows, we're at three hearts. We run forward and spin attack. You're all dead. This room is fantastic for us. I need, some, I need a heart real quick. Cool. Walk up. Line it up specifically so that it does hit. Dope. Very good. Uh, I forgot I actually have to kill you. I can't just, uh... I can't just ignore you and walk to the door. Done. Uh, max arrows, max hearts. Awesome. We have 573 coins for them. Uh, you can't spam just yet. We do need to kill one before they, uh... Oh, no. Why did I miss? Kill one before they go vertical. That one's been hit twice. Let's hit it three times. Perfect. Okay. Hit him. Oh, Lord. I am whipping. Okay, you're dead. Out of arrows. Good. Two health. One, nope, two and a half health, one and a half health. We'll spin on the way by. Ah! Okay, one health. This is not how this was supposed to go. Maybe I can hit them both. I'm gonna keep going. At this point, um, I'm just having a really, really extended chance to appreciate the music of this dungeon. I would say this is our first real test of this game, obviously. I, um, I also would say we have most of the dungeon figured out in terms of like, oops, I just left that money, oh well. We have, I would say we have a like passing uh, mastery of like every room other than the actual bosses. 
It's just like, how do I use my arrows and not get hit to have... My goal would be three hearts. Four would be fantastic. But three hearts. Uh, and I can be out of arrows. That's totally fine with me. But if I had three hearts going into the stomping, I am confident I can do it. I could probably do it with one. But... Dang it. Um, but yeah. Oh, he's hopping. Oh, he's hopping. I like the. Here's the thing, though. I'm coming. I, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm starting to get into my comfort zone. Actually, here's what I like about the fact that this is so hard. I, for me personally, I don't know that it's so hard. I'm sure for many people who are very good at gaming, uh, it's not that hard. But um, this is exactly the kind of thing I can imagine uh, as a kid sitting there at the Super Nintendo for two straight hours, <laughs> failing to this boss over and over again, calling in your like your sibling to to give you a little bit of assistance. Uh, in games like uh, in games sort of of this age, or like like. And by that I mean like games this old. Um, I feel like the, you know, it's not just Dark Souls where you're like, you have a lot of fun just banging your head against the wall, right? Um, it's given me Super Mario World vibes because I did bang my goddamn head against the wall in that game a ton. But okay, hit you once, uh, hit you, grab the heart. Your arrows, which I will take. Uh, 29 arrows for health. Run over to here. Let's just, let's just do it quicker rather than, than slower. All right, done. Remember when that room used to give me some problems? Oh, God, I was just whiffed both of those, though. Still plenty of time to mess this up, right? <laughs> Open eyes. Done. Okay, we do spin attack right in the middle here. Perfect. Line it up. Perfect. Come at me. Done. Get full everything. 30 health, okay. Okay, I can't do it right away. I think I need to move a little bit to the side here. Okay, this one should be one shot. Oh, I whiffed that, but otherwise, honestly, pretty decent. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. Oh, my health. Okay. How I many? I have two arrows left. They should all be like one shot. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay, we're at two and a half hearts, which is pretty close to what I was hoping for. If I could just kill one of these. No! These are hard to hit when you bounce. That's all I gotta say. Okay, we gotta get the timing down. No, oh God. Okay, one health. No, no. The good thing is it can't go max distance. This is the one. This is the one. Gotta get into a good rhythm, though. Oh, no. Let's go. Oh, my God. My heart is beating so fast. Let's go. <laughs> Yay, Link, let's go. 
Rap music. You won the pendant of courage. Take it to Sahasrala. Two pendants remain. Incredible. Oh, my heart is beating after that one. That was so good. And by that, I mean it was probably a little bit painful to watch for a little while, but that's okay. We triumphed in the end, and I feel like I really did earn this little pendant of courage over here. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me bang my head against the wall of that final boss room. Uh, you can only do your first, uh, your first boss attempt in a game like this. You can only encounter a boss for the first time. One time, or ten times, as it took me today. Um, what I mean by that, because none of that made any sense, is uh, it, feels good to, it feels good to have under our belt the, like, first process of, like, dying via panic, starting to learn some things, and then kind of piecing together a victory. I felt good. I felt really good. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like uh, and or leave a comment down below. And I will see you tomorrow for another one. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.